these are the promises of Jesus, your Savior. To qualify for these promises, you must simply believe. Believe that God gave Jesus and Jesus gave you his life for salvation. He speaks this over you today. I give you life, abundant life in all of its fullness. John 10 verses 9 through 10 and 14. I am the gateway. When you enter through me, you experience life, freedom, and satisfaction. I am your good shepherd, and I lay down my life as a sacrifice for you. Enter. I alone am the good shepherd, and I know whose hearts are mine. I have come to give you everything in abundance, more than you can expect. I am giving you life in its fullness until you overflow. Psalm 23, 1 through 3. Rest. Let go of your wants. I am your good shepherd and you shall not want. Lie down and rest in the wide open pasture beside still restful waters with me. I bring rest to your soul. Take my rest. John 10, 27 through 30. You know my voice. You can hear me. I know you and you follow me. I give you eternal life. No one else can give you this. Now you will never perish. You will never be lost. No one has the power to snatch you out of my hand. Remember, my Father who has given you to me is greater than all. No one has the power to snatch you from my Father's care. The Father and I are one. Psalm 23, 4 through 6. I am leading you right now on paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Even though you walk through difficult times, I will never leave you. You don't need to be afraid because I am with you. My rod protects you and my shepherd's staff draws you close. I prepare a table for you right now in the midst of your enemies. I personally anoint your head with oil, the oil of my anointing. Your cup runs over. I bless you. Goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in my presence forever. I am your refuge, your safe place. Matthew eleven twenty eight through 29. Come to me. Are you weary? Are you burdened? I will give you rest. Learn from me. Follow me. I am gentle. I am humble in heart. And here you will find rest for your soul. Who do you call me? Master, Savior, Friend, Protector, Provider, Faithful, Lord of all? Come under the shelter of my name. Acts 4.12 There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which you must be saved. Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord, my name, is a strong tower. 
the righteous run into it and are safe. You are the righteousness of God in me. I am your salvation. Rest from your work. John 14, 6. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Rest from your work. John 6, 29. Your work on earth, my friend, is to simply believe in me. John 19, 28. It is finished. John 6, 35 and 47. I am the bread of life. Come every day to me and you will never be hungry. Believe in me and you will never be thirsty. I speak a living truth. Unite your heart to me and believe and you will experience eternal life. Matthew 28, 20, I am with you always to the very end of the age. I give you my healing. I am your healer. Receive these truths in your spirit, soul, and body. Mark 6, 56, all who touched him were instantly healed. Acts 10.38 God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with great power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. Hebrews 13.8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Matthew 8, verses 2 and 3. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately he was cleansed. Matthew 8, 15. He touched her hand, and immediately the fever left her. She got up and waited on him. Matthew 20, verse 34, moved with compassion, Jesus touched their eyes and immediately they regained their sight and followed him. Matthew 9, 22, Jesus turning and seeing her said, Daughter, take courage. Your faith has made you well. At once, the woman was made well. Luke twenty two fifty one. Jesus answered and said, Stop, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. I am your healer. I heal your broken heart. I am able to receive your heavy load of grief Will you give it to me? Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. I have borne your griefs. I have carried your sorrows. By my wounds you are healed. Luke 4, 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. I give you my peace. My peace I leave with you. You have peace with God through me. John 14, 27. I give you my peace. It is not the fragile peace given by the world, but my perfect peace. Don't yield to fear or be troubled in your heart. John 16, 33. Everything I have taught you is so that the peace which is in me will be in you 
and will give you great confidence as you rest in me. In this unbelieving world, you will experience troubles and sorrows, but be of good courage, for I have overcome the world. I provide for you a worry-free life. John 14, 1. Do not worry or surrender to your fear, for you believe in God, trust and believe in me as well. My Father's house has many dwelling places, and I have prepared a place for you right now to rest. You are so valuable to the Father and to me. You are our treasure. Matthew 6, 25 through 27. Never be worried about your life, for all you need will be provided. Just look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Worry will not add a single hour to your life. I am delivering you from any darkness. Stay close. John 8, 12. I am the light of the world and those who embrace me will experience life-giving light and they will never walk in darkness. Luke 5, 20. Friend, your sins are forgiven. Isaiah 61, 3. I am here to lift you up when you are crushed by despair. I am here. I give you a living hope. I will take away the spirit of heaviness and dress you in my garment of praise. I release to you my wisdom. John 16, verse 13. I release to you the divine encourager, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth. He guides you into all truth. He tells you things to come. John 15, verses 9 through 11. I love you with the same love that the Father loves me. Let my love continually nourish your heart. If you keep my commandments, you will live in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and live nourished and empowered by his love. My purpose for telling you these things is so that the joy that I experience will fill your heart with overflowing gladness. John 14, 23. Loving me empowers you to obey my word. And my Father will love you so deeply that we will come to you and make you our dwelling place. We make you our dwelling place. Romans 5, 5. The love of God is now poured into your heart by the Holy Spirit, whom I have given to you. John 16, 24. Until now, you have not been bold enough to ask the Father for a single thing in my name, but now you can ask, keep on asking, and you can be sure that you'll receive what you ask for, and your joy will have no limit. Because I am the light, and you have joined your life to mine, you our light. Matthew 5, 13. My friend, you are the light of the world. 
You are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. John 1, 5 The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I am your source. Every one of your needs is met through me. John 15, 5 through 7. I am the vine, you are the branch. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you live in life union with me, and if my words live powerfully in you, then ask whatever you desire, and it will be done. Matthew 6.33 Above all, constantly chase after the realm of God's kingdom and the righteousness that proceeds from him. Then all of these less important things will be given to you abundantly. Refuse to worry about tomorrow, but deal with each challenge as it comes your way one day at a time. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Colossians 3, 1 through 3. My resurrection is your resurrection too. This is why you are to yearn for all that is above. For that's where I sit, enthroned, at the place of all power, honor, and authority. Yes, feast on all the treasures of the heavenly realm and fill your thoughts with heavenly realities and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Your crucifixion with me has severed the tie to this life and now Your true life is hidden away in God, in me. I will empower you. My grace is enough. John 14, 12 through 13. I promise you, when you believe in me, you will do the works that I do. And you will do even greater works because I go to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name. And the Father will be glorified in the Son. Ask. John 13, verses 16 and 17. I speak to you a timeless truth. A servant is not superior to his master, And an apostle is not greater than the one who sent him. If you put into practice what I have done for you, you will experience a life of happiness enriched with untold blessings. I am praying for you. Luke 22, verses 31 and 32. Satan has obtained permission to sift you like wheat and test your faith. But I am praying for you. Make it your life mission to strengthen the faith of your brothers. I give you confidence. Mark 11, 22. Let the faith of God be in you. Listen to the truth I speak to you. Whoever says to this mountain with great faith and does not doubt, mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the midst of the sea and believes what she says will happen, it will be done. This is the reason I urge you to boldly believe whatever you ask for in prayer. Be convinced that you have received it and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, if you find that you carry something in your heart against another person, release them and forgive them so that your Father in Heaven will also release and forgive you of your faults. Finally, remember, 
Our Father loved you so much that he gave you my life as a gift. You have received me. He delights in you and who you are. He has given you your destiny. When you believed, you crossed over into eternal life. This world has no hold on you.